Welcome to this clay mosaic memory tiles tutorial for the big skill. These mosaic tiles will be a lasting part of the Remember and Rebuild sculpture at Saxon Hall, Hereford. The sculpture will be surrounded by a spiral of 2020 tiles made from kiln-fired stoneware clay, preserving our local community's memories of lockdown. All the 2020 tiles need to be about 1 to 2 centimetres thick and between 2 and 20 centimetres wide. The back must be scratched to make it rough. A fork will work well for this. You can carve, draw, model, stamp and press things in. And my daughter will be helping me make some tiles today. So let's get going. First, you'll mould your clay piece, whichever size you've chosen to do, into a ball. And then you'll need to roll it out using a rolling pin or a jar or a wine bottle even will work if you haven't got a rolling pin. Keep turning as you do it. And if it is a little bit dry and crack, it, you can have a little bit of water afterwards to smooth it off and turn it over. Let's check. It might be about a centimetre there. So it could be a good idea to have a ruler just to check. Already rolled this piece of clay here. About centimetre, two centimetres. Yeah, nearly two centimetres this one, isn't it? Yeah. We're just going to try and make it a bit more thick round and the edge straighter by rolling it. Like that a bit more. Oop. So, what are you going to use first? I'm going to use some natural materials this time. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do the? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, do that first, and then we'll know what so, not to cover. Uh, do I want to get the edge like that there? Or... That's it. Smooth it off. I'm done. So I want to press it hard enough that you can see. I'm going to do very lightly when I'm mm. doing that. Just smooth it over if it's all right. That's got a proper good in. Smooth. Do you think that looks right? The A doesn't look very good. <laughs> Just smooth it out if it's not quite right. <laughs> That's very smooth Scratch. now. Right. Um, or is that too far away again? It's too far away. I don't think we can. Ooh, let's try. It doesn't have to be perfectly flat, does it? Mm -hmm. That's it. I mean, all natural things aren't. But you can go over with this tool if you want to try and oh, indent yeah. it a bit more. Let's see how this turned out. Oh, we like good. that one. Um, it's good I picked that one then. <laughs> Do a bit of a cutting. No, that doesn't work, does it? Yeah, leave me alone. <laughs> I don't have any food, Bill. <laughs> About these little ones. Has that gone over it? Uh, yeah, I think that would be pretty good. Wait, the bits are on the other side then, isn't it? It's not much of a vein. So hopefully... yeah, it's got some on that side. Oh, yeah. You can yeah. just about see that, can't you? You might have to go over the edges again. Where's that pointy tool gone? Very gently. Yeah, just to make it more defined. I mean, this A looks a bit weird. So we've got some new or some Christmas tree pine one. Try that just on the edge. Yeah. I think you should put some 
more leafy leaves inside. Mm. Like this. Let's try and curve it. Maybe a firm as well. Oh, that one worked. Good. Um, I think the word should be needles, not leaf. <laughs> Yeah. Poor girl's pine. Oh, that one turned out really well. I think, yeah, maybe a... Just the ivy in the middle. Yeah. I mean, how are we going to get it, though, like that? Leaf? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We might have to press this one down. I think so, so is. Yeah. Because it's not got very deep veins on the other side. Can you pick it, pick it up with her, your nails? No, I didn't uh, know to do uh, Yeah, no, maybe <laughs> try the other side. The opposite. Like. You might have to. No, I don't know. How about this one with the little... If it doesn't work, we'll speed it out and... Oh, you do it. You do. Do something else. Wait, just about. So if you just define it like we did the other, just follow the veins. Like it might that. not look so realistic, might it? How about that? Yep, so we need yeah, a leaf leaf. Like that. Like just a bit of it here. Will that work or do you need to do it like that? Actually, yeah, probably like that. But don't press too hard into that bit. So it looks like it's behind, yeah. Try. Yeah, Ooh, we can see that it. One, that one was much better. What about this one? A little bit I don't think there's any room. There? Right down the bottom, okay. <laughs> Just press it, I think. Yeah. Maybe to find that one a bit more. I think the hole's not as deep as the E. It's going well. One thing I didn't show in the other ones that we did, you can just screw up some tin foil and mm -hmm. make the edges or something. But it makes a good texture. Yeah. The edges. And don't forget to scratch the bottom. Yeah, I think like that's that. quite good. You did well. See. <laughs> and on the back, using your fork, you want to scrape some lines, sort of gouge out, and do it sideways or just cross hatching so that the cement gets a really good grip on your tile, which is going on the ground. Make sure it doesn't come off. So there you go, that's about it. I've made these wire cutters using some twigs and some wire. Wire. <laughs> <laughs> and just rolled it round. So Ellie's mm -hmm. going to try and cut it using this wire, homemade wire tool. Oh, it's going through. That's so satisfying. Yep. side. Yeah. Hey. What about this side? I can't get it on the other side. <laughs> so we can go crazy with lots of different textures. About an inch thick? No, not quite. Oh, About just a centimetre and a half. So what have you just done there? I've just cut out this star from a cookie cutter. We're going to use some cling film to stop the oh, well, I don't need it for the bottle cap. <laughs> this is a bottle cap. I'm going to try that edge. Milk semi skimmed. Yeah. And then we have a hairband with some nice flower. I'm just sticking a star. Texture on it. Glow in the dark star. Doesn't go very well. <laughs> Ooh, that's quite nice. I like that one. I've got just kind of glue and a 
and things. The bird. Mm. And using the cling film, you can see it's made it nice and rounded. So I quite like using that for stuff. Big bead. Bangle with a nice design on the edge. You're using a shell, are you? Yep. Yeah, I've used a shell and um, how about a key? I'm just going to make it smaller. That was pretty rubbish. Oh well. <laughs> Don't use a key. You can that smooth looks like it that. over, can't you? Yeah. Just yeah, it's not you know destroyed. Sort of it's not destroyed if you just put a rubbish texture on. Dots in the middle. It just slides through that, and it just goes yeah, straight. Yeah, it's really down. good, isn't it? That's this is an old brooch. Oh, I'm just Sorry. wiggling. Oh, that's nice. I like that. This is a Ooh. rose. Cool. That's good. I've got a no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> well, yeah, that's nice. And you could do I think the wavies are getting too close together. Yeah. Wavy bit. Okay. Now, I'm interested to see how this works. It's got some little footprints. <laughs> that's what I was going to do with it. <laughs> yeah, that was good. I think we need to do Big some more zigzaggy zaggy things. Okay. Because we've just got loads of wavy lines. We can use a, a curtain hook. A peg. Maybe. We could cut out the edges. Oops. Harder than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. How about this cool marble? Just kind of texturing it. Use a battery again. I quite like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like little teeth. Mm. What about this one? It's like the zip. zip. Okay. Oh, what would that look like? Pretty weird. <laughs> Let's do the edge of this cookie cutter. It's one of the ones that presses down, so they're quite nice just to make a leaf. Mm. And it pushes out, so it's quite easy to use. This is good for smoothing stuff. Make it very good for the person. Another button. Oh, how that's nice. A, I like that. How about we put a word on it? And then do a peg. Right. D. Mm -hmm. That did not look like a D. <laughs> right. It's like a mini marble. Uh, as you can see, your imagination is the only limit you have with this. Do you want your memory tiles to be part of the Remember and Rebuild sculpture? Then you'll need to use stoneware clay. If you live in Hereford City or near to its boundaries, we can post you a kit with enough stoneware clay to make one 20 centimetre tile or up to six smaller tiles. Each kit contains a worksheet plus a post prepaid envelope, mailing bag rather, to send your finished tiles back to the big skill for firing. You've also got the clay, the bubble wrap, and how to return your memory tile for firing instructions. If you live away from Hereford, you might like to sponsor a tile kit or join in by crafting tiles at home using some air drying clay. 
To order your clay mosaic memory tile kit or sponsor a tile, visit the Big Skill website. What are you going to do well after that? I don't know yet. <laughs> Work in progress. A shell button. Well, I thought this would be quite dog. A <laughs> dog tree. Well, we did get a dog in lockdown, so this is one of her doggy bone treats. Oh, I can't get it out. Oh, no, she <laughs> heard. <laughs>